Okay everyone, so based on the previous videos, we learned that we need to create an informed guess about the form of our particular solution yp. So based on um, the function g of x, right, on the right hand side. Now the question now is how do we make an appropriate guess? Now we are going to be learning how to do that by um, taking a look at these different scenarios here, uh, 12 to be exact. Uh, 12 different g of x functions and their corresponding um, form for yp. Okay, so let's start with the first one. We have for a constant, you can just write uh, any arbitrary letter that you that you want. So for the second one, we have 5x plus 7. So this is a linear function, right? So we know that the general form of a linear function is ax plus b, right? So for the third one, we have Oh, uh, before going to the third one, let's say we have 5x. So if we have 5x, what, what is the form? Are we going to write ax only? So if we have 5x right here, we should still write ax plus b because that is the general form, right? Okay. So 5x and also you can also write 5x as 5x plus 0, right? So it's, the, it's still the same thing. Okay, so let's uh, move on. To the third one so we have here 3x squared minus 2 okay so this is a quadratic function and we know that um, the general form of a quadratic function is ax squared plus bx plus c okay, we know that very well from college algebra so and the third one is another polynomial function of degree 3 so we have here ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus e is uh, our general um, a general form for that so now we go to 5 and 6 we have here sine 4x and as you can see here it is a cosine 4x plus b sine 4x and you might be wondering why is cosine 4x included here so we only have sine 4x here so the reason for that is because I uh, remember uh, once you've um, created your uh, guess your informed guess um, you need to substitute it into the original equation and in the original equation um, if you only have let's say for example um, a sine of 4x you only add, uh, set this as your uh, guess okay so the y p y prime p for that will have a so we will have our 4 a cosine 4x right so the sine became cosine Okay, so it will be alternating between uh, sine and cosine, so negative sine like that. So, if that is the case, you need to take that into account. You need to take into account um, the other uh, trigonometric function, which is uh, for sine is cosine if you take the derivative of that. Okay, so the same is true for co cosine 4x. So a cosine 4x and b sine 4x. So they have the same um, form. Okay, so now let's go to an exponential function, e raised to 5x. So the general form for that will be a. So any arbitrary constant multiplied by e raised to 5x. Now it gets more interesting because we have here a product of two different um, function types. We have here the product of a linear 9x minus 2 and an exponential e raised to 5x. Now... If we uh, multiply, so we have here um, ax plus b, right, is our linear form. Now, if we multiply it by c, e raised to 5x, because we have it right here for um, um, our form for um, e raised to 5x is a e raised to 5x. So we're just going to use c here because a was, re was already used. Okay, so if we multiply that, if we multiply this, we get a c x e raised to 5x right plus um bc e raised to 5x okay now we have here ac and bc so a and c are both arbitrary constants so there's no need for two arbitrary constants you can just write it as ax e raised to 5x and um b e raised to 5x so it's the same if you factor that out still the same as e raised to 5x okay 
So um, take note of this. Uh, this will be um, done over and over in the next uh, few examples. Okay, so we won't be um, distributing over and over. Okay, so let's go to the second, uh, to the ninth example. We have here x squared multiplied by e raised to 5x. Now remember, this is just x squared, but that is also a quadratic function. And we need to write the full general form of that. So ax squared plus bx plus c multiplied by e raised to 5x. And again, there is no c or, or e here for e raised to 5x. Um, because of the same for the same reason uh, we did in the previous item okay so now let's move on to the tenth one we have here e raised to 3x multiplied by sine 4x okay so this is simply um, e raised to 3x multiplied by um, a sine 4x um, plus b cosine 4x okay so remember this this is from here right okay so you just multiply that and you get the form on the right side so let's go to number 11 number 11 we have here 5x squared sine 4x so again 5x squared is a quadratic function and as you can see here so we know where we know where this came from and this right it came from this one and as you can see here um Okay, so let's just write out to avoid confusion. So we have here ax squared plus bx plus c multiplied by, let's say, um, um, the, our general form for sine for x, uh, for x will be, let's say, um, e uh, cosine 4x plus f sine 4x. Okay, so we're just going to... Um, Distribute this again. So as you can see here, we have a x squared plus b x plus c, and you have cosine. You have your cosine, and e x squared plus f x plus g. So don't mind the constants here e and f. So you can just you can choose any um, a letter that you want. So for the case here, so this has no letter here, right? Because for the same reason as what we did here. Okay, so. Why is this? And the question here is, um, this is a x squared plus b x plus c. And why is this um, e x squared plus f x plus g here? So these are different constants already because if you distribute the sine x, if you distribute the sine 4x, these are different terms already, right? So they are not the same as c cosine 4x x cosine 4 at b x cosine 4 x so these are different terms already and they could have different equivalent uh, terms in the g of x right okay so let's go to our last um, example here we have x e raised to the 3x times cosine 4 x so as you can see we have here a linear function that so we have here a x plus b multiplied by an exponential function e raised to x so we have that right here and then we have cosine for x and sine okay so that's it um i hope you now have a better insight on how to create an appropriate guess for a given g of x okay so let's do some more examples in the next videos and um see you in the next videos